Okay guys, in this video, we're going to be working on a Polaris, what is it? A Polaris ND XLT. It's a greasy triple, and uh, it's been sitting for about five years, so hopefully we can get it going. We'll see. So here's a little walk around of this unit. We got Victor here, but uh, yeah, she's a beautiful Polaris. She's a minty condition. She's uh, a barn find, I guess we could say, because it was at my buddy's house and we drug it out of his barn. It's been sitting for, again, about five years. So super dusty. But uh, yeah, overall, not bad shape at all. Just needs some love. Coming under the hood, we got the greasy triple here. Looks good. We already took the air box out, which had a mouse nest in it. And we cleaned all that out just so we could get a look down into the carbs. And they are super gummed up, so we're going to have to clean them suckers out. But uh, we're going to test for spark real quick. So we're going to pop these off and uh, give it a little pull start and see if we got spark. Because if we got spark, we're going to spray some carb clean in the carburetors and uh, see if she'll fire up. So I'm going to give you guys a good shot of uh, this spark plug here. Victor's going to pull it for us. Hold up. Go again. <laughs> kill switch. We, we that had the, might be an issue. We had the kill switch on that. That would be our issue here. Let's try that again. Uh, hold up. I'm not aimed on it. Go for it. There we go. We got spark on that one. I'm putting my hands here. Hopefully it doesn't shock me. <laughs> try, uh, try that one. Got spark on that one. Last one. Perfect. Okay, we got spark on all three. We're going to throw them back in. And uh, well, I want to focus. Camera focus. So yeah, we got spark on all three. We're going to throw them back in. And uh, spray some starter fluid down the carbs and uh, fire her up. There you go. Okay, we got the good old carb clean. This is where we pray she fires up. We don't want to like use too much of this stuff because it doesn't have oil mixed with it. But uh, one thing we did do before we threw the spark plugs back in it is I just used a little engine oil and uh, I put it down the cylinders just a little bit just because it has been sitting for a while and we don't want to um, score our cylinder wells if there is any rust or anything in there and hopefully what I don't even know what I'm saying guys I just saw somebody else doing a YouTube video and I was like that's a really smart idea if something's been sitting for a while so I did it too <laughs> but uh yeah let's see here oh that can have some oh that can have some that can have some now <laughs> Now we full start it. <laughs> <laughs> we love working on stuff. Yeah, hey, let me get over here. Okay. Okay, key is turned. This is up. Well, let's fire it. <laughs> No fuel. <laughs> no fuel. So yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's when a bit, we took this it's a bit air box, smoky in here. She a little smoky. But yeah, when we took that air box off, there was a huge mouse nest in there, and it just visual look in here. There's a whole bunch of gunk and debris. So we're gonna take the carbs off and see if we can't clean out the carbs and see if there's any clogged jets, and then throw it back together. Put some gas in it and see if she'll uh, she'll idle. <laughs> but uh, I also probably am gonna run to the store tomorrow and get some proper two-stroke oil, and also watch a YouTube video on how to check the oil injection system to make sure it's working, and a whole bunch of other goodies. <coughs> it's so smoky in here. <laughs> but yeah, stay tuned. We're gonna move on to our next step. We're gonna open the garage though, so we don't stop in here.
Are you gonna put Bizu over this? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> yes, I'm like that. Okay, so we got all three carburetors here. We just cleaned off this nice workspace for when we start tearing into them. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's clean them out and see if anything was clogged. I mean, of course, stuff is clogged. Look how, how dirty they are. Now. That is not good at all. That one's all corroded. This one is probably the cleanest out of them all. So yeah, time to dig in. Okay, so all the carbs are clean now. It is the next day also. I did one last night, and then Victor is working on one, and then I finished these two up today. And if we come over here, you can see right here, I took out the fuel tank pickup line. So a lot of uh, Polaris's, this line will rot out because it sits in gas forever. And I just wanted to take mine out and check, and uh, we are good. It's pretty clean, I'll blow this out. There's just a little bit of dirt on it. And uh, yeah. So coming over here before I wanted to throw in my carbs, I just wanted to check to make sure my oil pump works. So here's my oil tank. The line runs right down here along the bottom right there with that filter. And it goes into the oil pump which is right here. Then it goes out into three little lines that run to each port. As you can see the fitting right there. Then if you look inside, you can see the little brass nipples I uh, dried each one off with a rag and then I uh, sprayed some oil down into the cylinders because I'm going to be pull starting it a lot and I just want to have some lubrication in the cylinder walls because or in the cylinders because why not and uh, yeah so once they were dried off I just went over here and I Pull started it a whole bunch and I left the throttle wide open because there is a cable that goes down to that oil pump So in my head I was just thinking if the throttle is open it pulls the cable in there and it hopefully will allow more oil to go through So I can see a quicker um, A quicker Reaction to what I'm doing and sure enough. I don't know if you see the little dark Markings around the brass fitting. There's one at the very top and there's one right there at the second one that is oil that oozed out, so it happened on all three of them that I had dried, so my oil pump is working, and uh, now I can feel confident that when I put the carburetors on and I'm able to get this thing idling, that I'm not gonna be running it without oil. So you guys saw how I said my fuel tank pickup was good, so I'm gonna be throwing that back in, and then I went and bought some nice clear fuel line so I can be watching to see if it's pulling fuel from the tank and replace this old nasty line along with I got a new fuel filter because let's face it this one doesn't look too good and I'm also going to replace this fuel line and that fuel line and then I didn't get enough fuel line to replace the ones going to the carburetors which I really wanted to but all the store had where I went to in the size I needed was um, two feet so I will be ordering more fuel line online to replace these ones, but not for now. They're going to have to stay. So yeah, I'm going to get all those swapped out. So uh, enjoy the little montage.
So just like that, I got all the new fuel line on. That goes to the fuel pump, but I wasn't able to get those swapped out. Don't have enough along with, I really wanted to put new line down here, but I don't have enough also. So yeah, we're gonna call that good and um, move on to installing the carburetors. I'll probably go back through and replace all the lines once I know it runs. And uh, yeah, let's get to installing the carburetors. So check it out, I got everything connected now, all three carburetors, and um, new fuel line on. We should be good, so I'm going to spray some carb clean in each uh, carburetor and give her a pull start. I'm pretty sure I have the valve open, I have it turned like this, but we'll find out. I'll try it either way, it doesn't really have a labeling on it but I assume this means it's flow and that means it's close. So I'm gonna have it like this first and um, hopefully this fuel pump works and it pumps the fuel out from the gas tank and uh, she runs and idles. So yeah, let's start her up. Okay, I got you guys set up right over here. I'm gonna go over there and pull start it. Where's my car? Where's my car clean? We're running low on this stuff, sadly, so, yeah. Oh no. It's not as good, so. Well, I hope it runs. I hope it pulls fuel. Keys turned. Pull to run. All we have left is the pull started. Sorry, neighbors, it is really late. <laughs> So I had that valve open and it pulled gas through every single line. So uh, I'm going to try pull starting again, but we got a low battery, so let me go swap out your battery. That's like the most inconvenient timing. I'm so excited to like see if it will fire up and then my camera battery is low. But uh, got the new battery in, let's pull start it again. This time I'm not going to do car fluid, I'm just going to hope she uh, fires. Actually, we got a choke cable. I want to try the choke cable. See what that does. Okay, I turned the choke cable off and it stopped running, so let's try putting the choke cable back on. 
isn't working I'm pretty sure it is <laughs> let me open up this back door so we can get a nice airflow going through here Woo! oh it's chilly guys it is so cold outside now my whole garage is cold yeah if I do this sound like guys because I've never owned one before but I feel like if the idle was down just a little bit or actually let me check my RPMs and see what they're at. I got the carbs back on and uh, check it out. failed to check the RPM gauge. Wait, wait, hold up. Oh wait, that's why I wasn't checking it. <laughs> it's up over here. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't looking at this at all. Um. But yeah, maybe it's idling fine. I know these are loud and supposed to have a higher idle, but I'll, uh, in my separate time, start it up again and look at the RPMs and get it all dialed in. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this fun video of uh, us getting the Polaris up and running good. And uh, now we just gotta wait for some snow, but we definitely gotta clean this thing up. So it's filthy right now, it's been sitting in a barn forever. The mesh is a little rusty, so I'd like to make that black again. And uh, overall, just shine her up and maybe give her a fresh coat of wax. And uh, let's hope we get some snow so I can get some riding videos out. My buddy's getting one of these too. Victor, at the beginning of the video, he's getting the exact same one as me from his stepbrother. So uh, we're going to have some fun snowmobile content this winter. So if you don't want to miss out on that, definitely subscribe. There's going to be a whole bunch more cool videos coming out along with some videos on four-wheelers and my boat that I have. So uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Bye.